I think this is uh, not a waste of our time, right? Uh, normally, uh, our memory, our memory, not the computer, right? The brain, what we call, some people have, some people don't have, some people have insomnia here, okay? So then that brain or the memory we have, is that a volatile memory or non-volatile memory? It's a non-volatile memory, Guru Gyan Deva. What is volatile? What is volatile and non-volatile? You can't remember that. Volatile means whenever the power is disconnected, it will be raised. Hmm. Non-volatile means it's permanently there. What about our memory? What you learn? Can you memorize forever? No, no. But there are incidents where you can remember some small, tiny events you can remember for your entire lifetime, right? Some interesting things in your life. You know what they are, right? I don't want to remember, revise what they are. So, in our human brain or human memory, in some cases, it's volatile. Some cases, it's not volatile. Why? If you follow some interesting work, now, these people, you, you mentioned that uh, the cricket match. So, the last two cricket match, as I heard that, uh, Sri Lanka won it. So, still some people may memorize how the last winning run was scored. They may remember the, the environment, the crowd, uh, the, the person who did it. So, likewise. And the, how many sixes were there. You may. But you can't remember what waiting time is. Where I taught a few minutes ago. Right? What context switching for some people. Why? Since the things are interesting, if you follow, if you hear some interesting thing, you revise that again and again. Isn't that? If you eat a certain interesting food something, you revise that name, your last birthday. If it is celebrated highly, giving many more gifts, you will revise that. Ah, on the next day, you may revise it. Whenever your friends are met, you revise that. So then uh, whenever the things are revising over and over again, what happens? They will be going into the head and keep them as permanently in your head. But whenever you learn things now in our studies, they are not interesting. I accept it. We learn since we have to learn it. Not interesting like the, your birthday party. Not interesting like that cricket match. So you learn it now and you don't revise it. It goes away from your brain. So this is the nature of our brain as well as memory as the researchers found. So to overcome that, what we need to learn here is whenever you learn a certain thing, which is not interesting, just like our study materials, try to revise that over and over again, then only those will go into your brain. Those will go into your memory where they last until 2023. I think you understand the logic. Then uh, the, this is the order. What you learn today, you learn something today, that will be there in your brain or memory. Generally, this is not valid for everyone. The common for seven days. Can you remember that? So that the Prabhakaran person, the LTD time, so the, the, the leader, they have said that single manusya at matakati in the davas dahata raigi lakya melo de abirate himani single manusya ne poe karate chara dama ya single abirak na emite ni ayar dengo ya oye de kalinga ramata kada the go go home go ta so there's a, there was a big incident right so can you remember the day where that incident had happened some people can't why we didn't revise them so that's the nature of the humans, not only Zinghala, Tamil, whatever thing, that's the nature of the human brain. So whenever you hear something, if you don't revise that, they'll be quickly removing from your head. That's the concept. So then uh, the conclusion is, if you learn something today, the theoretical concepts, they'll be there in your brain clearly for seven days, one week. Then during this time, if you didn't revise them, Gradually, the concepts you learn will be going away from your brain. So what I want to say is, therefore, during these seven days, try to revise them. 
That means what you learn today, before the next week, before the next day session, go through what we learn today. Now you revise the concept you learn within seven days. If you revise that at least one time within seven days, this may go for another three weeks of time. Now the memory is going to be powerful. During the first week, if you revise that, it may be there in your head for three weeks. Then around all together, one month of memory will be there for the concepts you learned. If you revise one time, right? You learn today, within the seven days, if you uh, revise that, they'll be there for one month of time period. Again, from one month onwards, the things will start to leave your brain. Memory. Now what happens? With after this time, again, you need to have another revision. Another time we have to revise it. So better before one month, somewhere here, if you revise that for the second time, then not only for one month, this may last for around three months of time period. If you revise this for two times. And if you revise during these three months, now this may last for around one year, two years of time period, depending on your memory capacity. So I want to mention you that if you don't revise them, it won't be successful. So people who do this regularly, according to this pattern, they are the ones who achieve district ranks. So we have only one district first. Name. We have only 10 district first top 10. So those people have done this. That's all. Otherwise, if they have not done that, they have some special abilities. So no, everyone don't have them. Everyone doesn't have it, right? So therefore, as general people, we may follow this timetable. Now I'm giving you a certain guide and guideline how we can do this. Now, uh, <coughs> at the first day, today say that we learn many more theories. Then within seven days, you revise that. What I am telling here is your first revision is to make short note on what you learned. So what is the short note? So most of the people make short notes in a wrong way. Why? What you do is in short notes, you will just write the same thing what I gave in the note in another sheet. Then is that a short note? Same note. That's called as copying the note. Other thing is to revise that you, you feel like, okay, I'll read the note. Can you practically read the note continuously? I think not. I don't know about you people. In my side, I can't. If I start reading the note now, whatever we did two hours today, if I start reading the note with high concentration, okay, my mother may not take a kievala misa, may put it in a kitty me. Kill a mad you I just read the note for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes with full concentration, fine. Then you may hear some noise from the room, from the house. Sometimes now uh, your mind start to vibrate. Sometimes your mind will go to a certain interesting event that had happened during the day. Your other family members are just fighting. They are just talking. And at the same time, you may remember the phone, your, your big enemy. And sometimes it may um, uh, make a certain alert. Then your concern will be out. You can do this only for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. That's all. After that, you will break. Isn't that the incident? Majority. I'm talking about the majority, right? Not exceptional cases. Then that's what I'm telling that. Just start reading will never work practically. And your mind will be out of control. So we can't control it. So it may sometimes, forget about phones and everything, you switch off your phone and keep them somewhere. No noise from the family as well. They will give the full support. But even if you're in an environment like that, if you start reading, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, you continue that. But after 20 minutes at least, your mind will be going to a certain interesting event what you had experienced earlier. Then what happens? Now uh, you are dreaming in that world. So when I'm coming on the bus, so we sang song like this. So how enjoyable that is. Likewise, like us, you just dream that. I could sing this song. So I'm uh, good at uh, singing this song. Aparadi, I could uh, do this. Isn't that your um, uh, nature? 
then i am telling that that's what i thought i told you go for short notes right without just reading it so short note means is a short note normally uh, to prepare short notes in my side i am uh, taking a4 sheets not the full uh, cr book take a4 sheets and fold it in this way this a4 sheet i'm just folding into like this and use this small sheet to prepare my short notes then that supports me to write things shorter as well as to utilize the space as much as possible so then uh, what i'm doing here is in my side i may uh, read the note given by the teacher not only my side pure read the note right and by reading the note i am extracting the most important keywords on it i don't copy sentences i am highlighting the keywords and copying them so just for an example uh, the things what we did today so we did about uh, the scheduling algorithms are right? then i am reading that so we said that scheduling algorithms uh, in my short note i am writing that as the topic will be written by scheduling algorithms okay right. then in scheduling algorithms uh, we have uh, how did we start our lesson uh, three types ne so i am i am telling that three types are you then i am telling uh, the first one long term schedule long term that's all i am right i am making my text as short as possible long term schedule then in front of that i am writing the keywords long term schedule how to determine the long term schedule takes long time then i don't write long time i may say that uh, unpredictable time right is it unpredictable time the switching comes in unpredictable time then i may take some examples as well example new to ready even block to ready this is all for the long term schedule correct then uh, part b short term then i may write milliseconds microseconds i may write the keywords not the sentences and then i may write example that is ready to run then i am running uh, the mid term schedule then i may say that virtual memory that's all that's all do you understand the short note concept so don't write sentences here you may read your proper note given by the teacher try the topic extract the points and in front of that right keywords may keywords in long term unpredictable time a long word is here ne? then i have examples new to ready even block to ready short term i wrote it like that then the benefit here is when you follow a method like this though your concentration goes out when you read your proper note you read it then after 5 minutes your mind will go out but you have a certain target now no no i can't play like this i have to prepare this short note on what we did today then you have a motivation to turn your head back to the note and you read the note intending to extract keywords that's my point me i want to get the keywords from the note and under the points i am listing them how it should be i think you understood it then you may say that it, it thinks uh, when i go to this uh, short note i can't understand what it is why can't you understand it so you just make the short note to extract the keywords from there to the short note fine likewise this short note is this made for your reference or for someone else reference who will refer to the short note then myself it's i who made what this short note is hare then i am telling you that the importance of the short note is in my earlier time diagram so this is the first revision 
that is making the short note. Then within the first month, I have revised this thing. Now how can I do the revision? I just go to the short note I made earlier. I don't want to go to the proper note given by the teacher. Then when I'm going to the short note, now it's not boring. Why? When I go through this, it has many more puzzles. It has not given everything, no sentences. Then I take that after three weeks, right? Then I'm reading scheduling algorithms. Now, whenever you have scheduling algorithms, you have to remember. What is scheduling algorithm? Somewhere like process management. We have to schedule the processes. Ah, now you remember it. Okay. Then uh, long term, uh, long term, three types of scheduling algorithms. Sorry. Then that's clear. Long term, first one is long term. Then uh, unpredictable time. What is unpredictable time? Uh, the time duration is not predictable, then they are going to be long. And now you are revising me. You have work now. Do you understand that? So rather than just reading everything given, now there are puzzles for you to compile in your head. You are doing a work. Then are the examples is new to ready. Ah, in the server five state diagram, new to ready is unpredictable time, that's long. Ah, fine, fine, fine. Now it's not boring. Do you understand that? Rather than reading the entire note, this is not boring. Why? You are solving some um, unclear places here. So this is what my suggestion for you to uh, continue your activities. So I just give you my experience for you. Whenever you are working, now we have only one year more to go for our A-levels. Therefore, so this is not a time to play. So try to prepare your works according to a time schedule like this thinking that these things will be quickly leaving your mind so that we have to memorize them we have revised them again and again so revision can be done through the short notes and since it's a small leaflet you can carry this wherever you go sometimes whenever you are waiting in a queue full queue whenever you are waiting in your some other place so you can use this to revise whatever you learn even whenever the term test comes follow this this is usable for you only. It's you who made it. Suddenly, if you can't recollect whenever you go through the short note, if you can't understand what this is, no matter, you have the long note given by myself, it's there. Then refer to that page and find what this is. Then your work will not be boring. Hey, you will not feel um, sleepy since you are actively participating now. When you keep on reading, then only you feel sleepy, right? That's my experience. Maybe valid for you, maybe not valid for you. It's up to you. Right? Um, so then, especially the process management part, OS part is based on some more theories. So that you must keep them in your mind. I think these tricks will work. And even our upcoming lessons, the networking lessons, and even there are many other lessons uh, where we have much more theories. So you may follow these techniques. And this may be a certain experience where I had. I'm just sharing that with you, uh, thinking that this is not a waste of your time. Uh, another thing is, don't just revise once. Try to revise that at least two times or three times in your timeline, then uh, they'll be there in your head. So those people will success in your future. And even uh, you will have to automatically revise them when the term test comes. So then uh, if you have the short notes prepared like that, that's a success, right? So, but you know that at the last moment, you can't read these lengthy notes. So that's not practical. But if you have the short notes, if you have revised them already, then it's very easy to follow the concepts. Right? So in that way, I said, the, I'm telling you that I'm guiding you that Try to make your future only one more year to go. So it's a big challenge. If you are really uh, love your parents, as I said earlier, try to get into the local universities. That's the only way where you can respect your parents. That's the only way where you can treat your parents, not publishing messages in social media. Happy Father's Day. Happy Mother's Day. It's just a boasting point only you do nothing for your parents right so i don't uh, oh, so i don't make short notes uh, i study 20 minutes and uh, take a uh, break and 10 minutes
that's up to you guys i don't know i'm just telling my experience only there are people who are continuing their own patterns i don't disturb you continue your own pattern if you find that that's successful so this is one of my experience where i followed in my uh, studies so not really in my a levels once i go to the university then only i found it so in my university is uh, a levels uh, no one taught me like this they said that make short notes but i didn't know how to make short notes so my short notes were similar to the short notes where uh, short similar to the notes where the teacher gave me so then at the university level i just um, found this sort of pattern and it made a success in my life then uh, honestly speaking how many hours will you spend your on your studies per day how many hours will you spend your new studies 2 hours continuously and there are people who are spending 4 hours good good excellent right uh yes if you are continuing around 4 hours that's good but wait i'll talk about 4 hour people in a while i'll just say a certain ordinary person who spend 2 hours per day so this 2 hours is not the tuition time not the schooling time this is the time where you spend on your studies hmm. that depends on uh, the mood anvaithin so it can't be so if i'm in sad mood uh, i don't do work today no i'm telling that spend 2 hours per day on your studies to prepare your short notes to revise the things to do homeworks likewise assume that 2 hours per day right other than other times complete 2 hours no phones no talks no enjoyment 2 hours on studies if so how many days we have for our exam assume that one more year in 2023 august we have the exam then one more year means already i said 365 days eh one year na you say that around 380 days more we have uh, 380 days more counting um, the july and everything okay then uh, how many total number of hours you have uh, to work per day you spend uh, two hours then 380 into 2 will be uh, 0 6 760 hours more if you are spending 2 hours per day you have 760 hours for your complete working time hmm. then that 760 hours is also big time we'll just say whether it's a big time we'll just count how many days you have for your working 360 hours remaining for your studies then if i am find how many days what should i do number of days available 760 hours divided by 24 then how much is it 760 divided by 24 31 days is it so this is uh, going to be uh, how many three then uh, then uh, three means uh, 72 then this is going to be 40 uh, this is going to be uh, 24 uh, even one right we'll just put it as two uh, so we'll around is that 32 days 32 days means how many months more? This is a remaining time for your A-level, right? I'm talking about it. Then this is going to be around one month more. For what? For what do we have one month? This is for your A-levels in 2023. Then separate. Only one month more, right? Is he serious or not? This is for the people who are dedicating two hours per day continuously, right? No parties, no weddings, no funerals, no ping pong, no any other festivals, no moods. If you continuously spend two hours, per day on your studies you have only one month more to work all right people who are spending four hours per day how many months more then if you spend four hours this is going to be two only two months more excluding any other events now obviously there can be some other events and we may miss some days 
Then what I want to say is, exam is not far, it's closer. Why? We need to prepare for the A-levels for the right? That is not the time you study. Study means you go to classes, you go to school and learn. That's not the time. The preparation time. Other than preparing, you can't face the exam successfully. Now, at this time, you are grabbing your knowledge. That's not. We need to grab knowledge. The knowledge you grab has to be revised, has to be going through. Then, that time is the most important time that you prepare for your A-levels. So you have only one month if you are spending two hours per day continuously. So I'm telling that this is not enough. So try to increase that into four hours. Forget about it. If you are not a person who is spending two hours per day, what to do then? Give it up A levels? No. Then, now I'm just motivating you, right? Understand that, especially if you have not started to work, this is the right time to start your studies. Even if you have not done anything in your A-levels up to now, you just went to classes, collect the notes, you have notes from that class, this class, this class, school notes and everything, fine. Still don't be disappointed. The available time, this 32 days will be more than enough. But for you people, this has to be increased at least into four hours. Then you have two months of time period. That's bearable. I'm telling you that. I, I I'm responsible telling that. That's more than enough. If you have not worked anything to go for a good big result. But you have to work properly by following these timetable. So whenever you learn, now you have learned the previous lessons, but you didn't revise them. Okay, doesn't matter. Take the first unit and try to prepare short notes as I said earlier. Keep them. Again, uh, the next lesson, next lesson, prepare the short notes and keep them, revise them. For you people, even for everyone, do these works according to a timetable. Don't just do it uh, for the sake of doing it. Prepare a timetable for you. Now, according to the timetable, we have seven days. Eh? Then you must decide how these four hours per day or two hours per day is going to be spent. So I may say that Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Prepare proper timetable. Now you have to do this according to a correct planning. Otherwise for the you can't. This is not a joke. This is not a simple thing. Right? Then uh, according to the Three subjects you spend on your A-levels, follow your studies. Sometimes you may feel that there's a subject which is quite difficult for you. There's a subject which is easy for you. Based on that, you may give the priority for your studies. Give, the, give more time on difficult subjects. As an example, I may say that ICT. So I'm spending ICT here. And even the other subjects say that a person who do commerce, econ, and accounting, even ICT. Uh, econ, even accounting, and I see. Hurry. I just select my days one after the other. And if I find that ICT is quite difficult, ICT, I'm uh, revising that for three times per week. If your difficult subject is econ, replace them. Funny. And then uh, the two hours on Monday is spent on ICT. And two hours on uh, Tuesday is spent on econ. Two hours. So prepare this timetable and work on this timetable. So my guidance is once you prepare such timetable, keep that in your room in a visible place. Do that. So then simply I'm telling that prepare this timetable and paste that on your table or else put that uh, under the glass of the table that you are working with where you can see that. That will give another unknown motivation for you if you miss one of these timetable. Sometimes say that due to a certain unknown, whatever the reason, you feel that other than the mother, other than the mother, the area. On a Tuesday, you didn't do this. Then you may regret if you see this timetable again, right? Yo, yesterday I forgot this thing, then the icon two hours, I miss it. If you are having that regression, be happy that you are a person in the correct track. 
that to get that reg uh, regret definitely you need to have this timetable in a visible place sometimes you may feel like not um, uh, getting your wall dirty so i don't paste them in the wall in my side i had that uh, bad attitude so most of the times uh, i didn't paste timetables on my uh, wall thinking that ane wall ekak katha ganawa ne ehema gahanna bae ne so i did that foolish work in my school life most of the teachers said that keep your timetable on your place where you can see that i thought of the clean tidiness on my room on the walls but it didn't make me to motivate on this point so then decide whether the need clean wall is required or to go for a brighter future right so then don't think of that so place is proper time table in your room especially in the wall right so where you sit to start work keep that that will give a unknown motivation if you miss one and it will give that to when you sit on the table you see that other wednesday so i have to do the work count in two hours how can i find the time then you will be motivated and how can i prepare the short notes i have to make these sums they are very difficult for me how can i make that i have to complete the tute i have to do the other questions so that will give a motivation rather than uh, motivating it by your parents all the time parents can't follow you do this do this do this and you don't like that as well so have your self control i think it won't be a waste it won't be a bad thing for you right so then i think uh, the time i spend on this is not a waste i just went out of the limited time as well but i just gave i just shared the experience that i had to make your future success especially in your a levels coming on the next year right so then um, the summary is prepare a time table and try to revise whatever you learned at least for three times so try to prepare short notes and again count your days we don't have long time for your a levels especially the preparation time right so then try to spend at least two hours if you are a person who have not done spend on time on your studies i may say that at the very first time you can't start from four hours ඒක වෙන්න නැහැ කියනවා මේ වෙනකම් පාඩම් කරපු නැති ළමයෙක් නම් පැය හතරෙන් පටන් ගන්න ගිහලා පටන් ගත්තොත් වැඩි එකක්වත් වෙන්නේ නැහැ එහෙම කරන්න එපා අද නම් පැය හතරක් පටන් ගන්න ඉන්න ඔක මම දෙන්නම් අනික් කියෝන්ට පහු වෙලා යන කියලා ඒ වැඩේ කරන්න එපා ඔක තිත්තම් වෙනවා එහෙම for such people i am telling that start from 2 hours that's manageable for you so spend this 2 hours for one week time period following this time table හරි after that if you feel that you are on the track i said you that if you miss something you have to have a certain regret ehem una nan anna track ekata ekama point ekak you can identify that you are on the correct track sorry so then uh, if you are confident now gradually improve this time uh, into 3 hours then 4 hours then automatically you may improve that for 6 hours sometimes so then this is a certain uh, different style in your life so you need to turn that into the style rather than the style that you spend today now there's a certain pattern for you you go to class uh, play with your friends and come here go to party show and everything uh, so there's a certain lifestyle then bravely decide is this life cycle flourish you or is this giving you the negative side but positively negatively all the time i can say that if you get into your university studies no problem it is flourishing your future so then keep that as the main intention main responsibility in your life then nothing will be wrong for you so that's a main gratitude that's the only gratitude you can show your to show to your parents i think you understood what i said and uh, you may follow this if you need any other help talk to me whatsapp me i'll uh, help you especially when making short notes especially when uh, preparing your time tables or in any case if you need some help talk to me i may be quite busy sometimes but uh, just talk to me or just um, inform me i'll just give my help as much as possible to take all my children into the level where your parents are expecting so respect them all the time 
at, at as maximum you can. That is the only work you can do by doing your A-levels with flying colors. Okay, so I congratulate you all and I wish you all the best to follow these patterns and be successful citizens in the future. Okay, I'll stop here. Good night. See you then.